हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज सत्य प्रकाश वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल दिस इज द पार्ट थर्टी ऑफ गिट एंड गिट ऑफ ट्यूटोरियल सो इन दिस पार्ट थर्टी विल डिस्क्राइब व्हाट इज द पर्सनल एक्सेस टोकन इन गिट एंड हाउ टू क्लोन द रिपोजिटोरी यूजिंग पर्सनल एक्सेस टोकन और पीएटी सो आई विल सजेस्ट यू बिफोर गोइंग थ्रू दिस पार्ट थर्टी गो थ्रू माय पार्ट वन दैट इज इंट्रोडक्शन टू गिट एंड सोर्स कोड मैनेजमेंट सो दिस विल डिस्क्राइब हाउ टू इंस्टॉल एंड कन्फ्यूर गिट एंड गिट बैस इन योर लोकल सिस्टम and part 4 is what are the difference between public and private repositories in github all right so we'll go to my presentation here so in this part 30 there is few points we need to describe or uh, so part number 1 is know about personal access token or pat in a short and why we we use the pat in our github or why pat should be used so create pat or personal access token for your github account and use pat in git clone command or using git bash and what are what are the difference between clone public repo and private repo and what are the role and responsibility of personal access token during clone of the private repository all right so first thing is what is a personal access token so personal access tokens are alternative to using password authentication in github it provides more scopes and permissions it can only be used for https git operations so it has also expiration date so it can be expired with an with some duration after some duration or within limits and why github need pat or personal access token so github requires personal access token or pat from august 13 2021 for using github api or command line so security benefits of pat so pats are specific to github and can be generated for use or for device tokens can be revoked individually at any time tokens can be scoped to allow only the access necessary for use case tokens uh, offer a number of security benefits over password based authentications and pats are not subject to the types of dictionary or brute uh, force attempts this is the security benefits of pat there is so many uh, security benefits over password based authentication that's why we use should we should we use the pat or personal access token all right so next point is uh, create pat for your github account so i'll go to my browser here so i already have a github account i log in use their github account using satya cs github so there is there are so many repositories here all right so before start creating the personal access token using using github account i will give you some important inform informations here so first go to the c drive and program files here and you need you see here after installing git in your local you will get one folder called git you, so you just click here and there is another folder called bin so you just copy this path and go to control panel all right so in control panel go to the system and security and again the go to the system and there advanced system settings there you should go there and after then go to environment variables and on under the system variables there is a path variables there you just go to edit and you need to create a new so i already have added the variable that is the c drive program files git and bin if not there in your environment variables you should add by clicking on the new part all right so i don't need this so you should go there and click edit okay so for me it is not required i already have added this one so for you you need to add if 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 you are using the first time to forget so, okay now just click okay click okay and okay so uh, after this i'll go to again one credential manager you just search for in in your search bar that is credential manager and you click 
click this credential manager and it will open there is two types of credential manager so i already have created one video about this git credential identity please go through that in you can get this video in my playlist of git and github tutorial okay now for the credential manager there are two types web credential and windows credential so whenever you use the github or pull push and clone the repository there is a credential has been added automatically here so as of now there is no credential has been added if you have you don't have don't worry this will ask during your operations of or github command when you execute your github commands so it will automatically added your in your under the generic credential of windows credential part all right so i just minimize this one and i'll show you how to uh, create a personal access token so i already have login using github account so i'll just go to here and go to the settings in the settings there is another options called developer set settings in developer settings there is so many options so just click on the personal access tokens here you can see that I already have created an one token token with name token one and this one last used within the last week so I want another one called generate new token here okay I just go to the login part it's asking about login the confirm password it asking uh, the access token new one so I just put here as token 2 all right so this token is like a OAuth access token they can be used instead of password for git over HTTPS and there is some expiration date and there is many if you want to 7 days 30 days 60 days 90 days or no expirations so by default is 30 so the token will expire uh, on the November 14 2021 from today and there is uh, various scopes there scopes define the access personal access token you can go to the more uh, details on it and I as per my requirement I just put on the check on the repo part so if you want any require as per the requirements you can select other options as well for, for my requirements only repository is required so that full control over private repositories so that I just click on repo all right so there is so many uh, options the repo status deployment public repo repo invite security underscore events so there is a given the full control over over the private repositories all right so after then i'll click on that generate token button here so once you click on the generate token button there is one uh, security token is created right P public access token so make sure to copy your personal access token now it it will not available it again it will be disappeared so i i just copy this one i'll open my notepad and i paste here for future reference and after then i'll go to so you can see that this access token will not available and it will be expired after after 30 days because the duration of expiration is 30 days by default so that so I, my public access token is successfully created so i'll again go to my uh, profile and the repositories part all right okay now i there is a very important a point here i already have created the personal access token for using my github account so here fourth point is use personal access token and git clone command and the difference between clone public repo and private repo we'll see here so i already have created one folder where i want to clone the repositories so for that i just click here and git bash here so it will open the git bash using this local directory and you can see here it will uh, load your local directory that is the c drive and pat clone all right so i'll go here 
the clone repositories i will show you the difference between one is public repository one is private repositories so i just open these two two repositories as well simultaneously all right so this one is the public repositories you can see here so i will uh, wa i want to clone this repository public repositories so i just copy this uh, clone url and i'll go to my git bash here to clone repositories the command is git clone and the repository this is the public repositories remember this one so i click enter so it is successfully cloned to our local directory it it is not required any public access token or it it is not it does not ask any uh, authentication uh, credentials so without any asking credentials it is a clone to our local directory here so i'll go to my local directory you can see here in this path c drive pat clone public public repository has successfully cloned to my uh, local directory with all the related required files here you can see as you see, as you see here in the remote github repository repository the same all these files has been successfully cloned to my local directory here all right so to check this uh, so again i'll show you what is the difference between clone the private repository so this is the private repository my third private repo you can see this is the private repository here so i want to clone this repository so for that the same process i just copy this path and i'll go to my git bash here and git clone so remember this one is the private repository okay now i click enter see the difference so it is asking about you can see that one pop up is showing connect to github so it is asking personal access token here so i already have saved this personal access token which one i created i just copy this and paste this here and sign in so it will start cloning this re repository to my local directory within few seconds you can see this this private repository st starts cloning after uh, taking the public access token or po personal access token and you can see that in my directory you can see that repository with all these files private repository you can see in the remote github repository that is the private repository whatever files is showing here you can see all these files uh, of this private repository after successfully cloned all right so you can see after giving this personal access token i'll go to my credential manager so you can see after refresh this you can see under the generic credential one credential has been added that is the satyasya's github and password and the local computer okay now i will show this uh, process again with different scenario i just remove this credentials whatever i it has it has been created automatic with the personal access token i remove this repository from my local directory here so make sure this has been added or not removed or not from the generic credentials so it has been removed there is no github credential has been added in your credential manager okay now there is no private repository here instead only the public repository so i'll show you uh, i just clear the screen of uh, git bash okay now i'll uh, i want to clone again this private repository all right so again i just copy here this git url and i go again to my git bash again i want to clone all right so i just paste here i want to click enter so it is asking again the pop up for the personal access token i so 
without giving any personal access token in real in a real time scenario what's happen there is some instructions click here the close button all right so after click on the close button you will get another pop up for the open ssh all right so this is the username it's want it wants so i want my username here my username is satya cs github so i'll click here satya i just put my username here all right so after then i just click okay and it asking again the password here password is nothing but the personal access token pat okay so i just copy here and paste here the my pat or personal access token after then click okay so this is the real time scenario in this way we can uh, uh, giving the personal access token to download and clone the repos private repository to our local directory you can see that our our repos private repository has been successfully clone to my local directory you can see here the local in, the, in my local directory the private repository has successfully cloned with all required files all right and you can see after giving this credentials i just refresh this credential manager and the github has added this uh, its its uh, required credentials for the username satya cs github automatically without any manual manual uh, enter uh, credentials it is automatically added by the github using git bash all right so this is the difference between uh, a rep clone the pro public repository and a private repository so public repositories does not ask about personal access token or credentials and the private repository it ask ask about the personal access token for authentication and uh, in a real time scenario uh, in your team and of this project the whenever you have the access for the github repository and all the repository are the private repositories so that there is some security purpose so that it is asking about your credentials or personal access token to clone that private repository in your local directory instead of without any asking anything like public repository so private repository ask was asking about the your personal access token during creation of pat or personal access token using github account so there is some security benefits we already have described in my uh, presentation okay now i'll go to my presentation here so we already have described uh, what is personal access token and uh, why github need pat and what are the sec security benefits of pat so this is uh, required for the private repositories in a real time project and in your company so in this video what we described that is the know about personal access token or pat why pat should be used create pat for your github account uh, use pat in uh, git clone or git bash uh, difference between clone the public repository and private repository for public repository during clone it does not ask about po personal access token but to clone the private repository it asking about uh, personal access token for auth authentication purpose so that's it for today guys thank you for listening have a great day